So just to start, obviously you've heard of all the frustration. Who's to blame for this, these long lines? Well, the voters for getting in line, maybe us for not having enough polling places or as many as we usually have. But I think we've seen the, uh, the hype in the last, uh, I'd say, week to 10 days of the um, candidates, uh, the national candidates coming here, which we haven't seen in past years. So I think that's kind of stirred everything, everybody up, energized yeah. them. There's definitely high interest. Now, sh do you, do you, are you saying voters sh should have sent in ballots by mail because you're saying they're partly to blame for standing in line? Well, no, they're not to blame for standing in line, but they went to the polling places. Uh, they could have voted early or, you know, that was their option in this instance. Um, so I don't mean to blame the voters. I think it's wonderful that voters went to the polls. That's what we encourage them to do all the time. We've looked at voter turnout over the last several years has been very, very low. So the fact that they all showed up at the polling place, I think is wonderful. How could this have been prevented? I don't really know. Um, I think there are a lot of uh, reasons that went behind this. Uh, we looked at what we have seen in the past for early ballots and what we've seen at the polling places. We tried to look at that scenario. Uh, we knew that a third of our voters could not vote in this election because independents could not vote. So that takes away a whole group of, of voters. Um, and then we looked at where polling locations could be in large locations so that we could put a lot of uh, machines and poll workers there. Yeah, so polling places have been reduced in the last four years, right? From 200 to about 60? For this election. For only. this election. Yes. So we are required by law to have no more than half of our normal polling places. And we tried to reduce that looking at past, past history. So again, a lot of people are frustrated. What could be done differently going forward? Well, we will certainly look at this and see if we need to do um, something different. This was the first time that we've allowed people to go to any polling place. So if that's not a good thing, if we need to go back to the old plan, where they're, they're bounded by certain boundaries and that's the only place they can go, we will have to look at all of those issues. When you look at back on this, is this going to be a failure of your office? I don't think so. When you get people out to vote, is that a failure? I don't think so. Four hour lines, some people reported having to stand in right. lines for more than three hours. Right. How, do you, how do you tell these people that that's just part of the process? I didn't say that it's part of the process. I'm glad they went out. I'm sorry that they had to wait that long, but I'm glad they went out to vote. And they, wanted, they want some answers. Why did this happen? I think I just explained that to you. So, you are, I mean, I guess who are you blaming then? Is it the independent voters? Why did this happen? I'm not blaming anybody. I said that there are a lot of different factors that went into what is going on today. Okay. I guess I, I don't feel like I understand what, how this happened. What's the problem? Why were there – this isn't happening in other counties. This has only been reported oh, in Maricopa County. Oh, it is happening in other counties. Okay. We have heard the same thing from other counties, that they are having the issue, some of them with the uh, uh, independent voters trying to vote. And they have, we have to allow them to vote. So we'll vote them a provisional ballot, which will not count, but we have to, to do the paperwork on that anyway. So do you so think it's not just here? Do you think it's a matter then that independent voters were the ones standing in line making these long lines that they just didn't realize they couldn't vote in this election? As I said before, that's one of the factors. I think I've gone over all the things that I said were encapsulated and there are a number of reasons. So that's just one of the factors. Okay, so we're talking about independent voters, polling places being reduced and high interest campaign. Uh, did you not prepare enough for this? Maybe not. And, and when you say that, what do you mean? What could you have done differently? I think I told you we will have to look at this and look at the overall pictures and see what we could have done differently and possibly we will do in the future. Some voters said they just went ahead and gave up on voting. They didn't want to stand in the several-hour line. What do you say to them? I would hope they wouldn't do that. If they're going to take the time to go to the polls, I hope that they will stay.